Hey guys, what's going on? 21st Century Moses here. I'm bringing you guys another video today. And I got something you guys are not used to at all. I actually got some Halo 4 gameplay for you guys. I was playing it last night. And I actually ended up playing with one of my friends and up later. And I was just playing it because, you know, all this Halo 5 collection hype just got me going. And this Halo 5 beta hype just got me going. And all kinds of stuff like that just making me want to play some more Halo. And I just love Halo. It's something I've been playing since I was probably around seven or eight years old back when the first Halo like I never had the original Xbox and I get the 360 till 2009 if I remember right but I'd always um go to my friend's baby like my uh, babysitter and like my friend since I knew him since I was probably like five like he would always have it and he's like a big Halo guy but we I would always play with him but I'm just saying his mom is hot as fuck and she's my babysitter just gotta point that out there but I'm but I just always played Halo and I loved it and I loved it like, Halo is one of those games, the more you play it, the better you get. That's so, with most games, but I'm saying, it's especially with Halo. It's like one of those things, like, I, right there, I could have maybe got a headshot if I just played this game more. And this is probably, like, my fourth game on. I haven't played this game in, like, a year since yesterday. So it's just kind of weird. But, like, Halo is one of those games that really has a skill gap. And pretty much everybody agrees with that, but if you're not familiar with Halo, like, alright, so you have to aim for the head all the time, you know? Um, you don't really want to get body shots, you want to, you know, um, special button combos, you know, like, when to melee, you know, when to do this stuff, you know how to strafe, so that way you're harder to be, like, hitting, like, so somebody can hit you on target, like, whenever you're jumping, you're moving, doing you know, all kinds of stuff you can do there, and you have excellent aim, you have your spawns, you know where people are going to spawn at, you know where the weapons are going to spawn at. I'm going to tell you guys a story one time. Uh, this was actually on Halo Reach probably three years ago, probably. So, um, it was, uh, yeah, maybe two years. I don't remember. But we were, me, a buddy, and a couple more of his friends were playing the MLG playlist on Halo Reach. And, you know, like, we were, we were doing pretty good. Like, you know, we were pretty, all good players, you know. Not bad, we were all really, really good at Call of Duty. So, you know, we're pretty good at just video games in general, I'm going to say. But we ended up playing this Halo, or the MLG playlist on Halo. And whenever we're playing, we ended up getting paired against these guys. I can't remember their names, but one of them was like Amish Acorn and some other guy and some other guy and some other guy. But we play against them on some map. And I don't remember the the actual um, like score it went to, but we had five kills. And they, it might have went to 30, it might have went to 50. But I had a kill, somebody else on my team had a kill, somebody else on my team. Then somebody, or the fourth guy on my team actually had two kills. And I'm pretty sure they're all from grenade kills. But these people that we played, they were just massacring us. Like, I didn't understand how they were even doing this. It was just blowing my mind. And I didn't even watch competitive gaming at this time. I just knew a little, like I was kind of in like the commentary scene. Like I knew about it, didn't do anything. But they were just laying us out. Like, it was no contest. Like I would... Like, there was the delay, how you spawn. Alright, I wouldn't even live two seconds. I would just chuck my grenades, trying to do something, and then just, just trying to know where they're at, because they would be moving, and they would know where we are going to spawn, when we were going to spawn. And they'd be controlling the spawns, like, with their grenades, and then we'd already have our shields down. And it was just a massacre. Like, these people were so good. And I remember, like, one of my friends said they had P-squared ad, T-squared ad, some like that. I, don't, I honestly don't remember his name. Because I'm not that big into Halo, but I know he's, like one of the biggest Halo people in the world, and they had him at it. So these were professional players, you know. And I actually Googled some of their gamer tags, and I saw some clips, like, of them at lanes and stuff like that. But, like, you know, if I was to do this in Call of Duty or something like that, I actually think I'd get more than a kill. <laughs> like, if I'm going against Optic or EG or um, just Envy, any team like that, I like to think that I could get a couple kills, at least, I could, you know, I like to think I'd actually just get like a .5 KD and not go 1 in like 12 or whatever I went, but, you know, like, so, it's just one of those games like Halo has such a better skill gap, and, you know, Call of Duty isn't really on a level, but I'm hoping maybe with Advanced Warfare it's going to be, I'm not really sure, a Ghost, it's, I'd say it's a step down from Black Ops 2, it's competitive nature, um, I'd say, Black Ops 2 is probably the most competitive one so far, or thus far. Um, I'm not sure how Advanced Warfare is going to stack up. Maybe it'll be between Ghost and Black Ops 2. Maybe it'll be better than Black Ops 2. But I like to think the next game Treyarch makes, if it's Black Ops 3, if it's go back to World, at War, World War 2, I have no idea. But 
<clears throat> I'm burping a lot in this commentary. I kind of feel a little bit sick. It's just like, I, I don't really know what's going on. I think it's like a sinus infection. But, you know, it's just Call of Duty isn't really on the level of some of these other games. And another game I'm going to point out is Battlefield. It's another first-person shooter. So I'm going to compare them. I know a lot of people say they're not comparable. But I'm just going to do it anyway. Like, Battlefield, you know, like the sniping, it's a lot more difficult than Call of Duty's, you know. I, you know, I actually struggle sniping sometimes on Battlefield. It's just one of those games that you have to play and play and play and know, like, the sway and know how far you are, the distance, and do all this stuff that actually takes skill. And there's a skill gap, and it makes the better players better, and the players aren't so good that actually are in their spot, you know, like... The exceptional players stand out better. And I think Call of Duty is one of those games where it's not. People cl claim it's a Twitch shooter and everything. I don't believe that. But I just believe it's not as competitive as it should be. And this commentary is coming to a wraps. But, you know, I'm just hoping. I got um, a lot of hopes for Advanced Warfare. Considering Ghost was kind of a letdown in my opinion. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Comment in the comment section below what you thought. Uh, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is in the description below. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll see you guys later. My name is Moses. Have a great day and be happy.